We're going to put some pea microgreens in these. We're going to put some uh, garlic chive microgreens in these ones. And so yeah, this, this, this should be pretty fun. We always love burger night. Burger night is so delicious. So yeah, what we've got is we've got three different devices going, both Lissa and I am live on Instagram as well as on YouTube live. So here we are. I hope all of you have enjoyed all the lives that have gone on and hopefully this bundle has been really fun for you. Hopefully there's been a lot of inspiration you've got from this and motivation to eat more raw foods. And of course, for those of you who have got the bundle, man, talk about the wealth of information that you'll have at your fingertips forever. So, yeah. so cool, so cool. Exactly. Thank you everyone for joining us for our big finale. Cheers! Yay! Of the Cheers. bundle. We're gonna be making the Barefoot Blue Jean Burgers mm. from the Group Collaboration eBook. The Group Collaboration eBook. This is such a cool eBook. Tell us a little bit about it. Yeah, so what we do every time we do a raw vegan bundle, which we don't know when the next one's gonna be, so if you guys wanna grab this one, there's only there's less than seven hours left I know, it's from almost, the filming of this video. It's almost video. over, it is almost over. Yeah, but every time we do a raw vegan bundle, we all get together and we contribute our favorite recipes to a group collaboration ebook. So this ebook has over 40 of us got together. We each contributed one of our favorite potluck recipes. It's super cool. Raw though. vegan, low fat. There's over 50 recipes in the potluck book and it's exclusive to the bundle. You only have less than seven hours to go get this book. That's it. You cannot buy it anywhere else ever Less again. than seven hours and <laughs> this book alone realistically it's worth 49 bucks yeah just the collaboration book and you can't get the book outside the bundle mm -hmm. what's cool is the other creators have created certain things that they'll be able to sell um you know separate yeah <laughs> but like our courses and there's a, yeah. a sushi course and menopause so, course so much but you can get everything right now for 49 dollars. 49 bucks just click the link i've got the link in my phone this has got her link over here and the link now works on youtube so oh, if you click the link in good. the description it's working now i forgot to add http i forgot youtube needs that so i wish we had like i wish i had some high powered glasses I know, so if like, people are saying stuff, stuff we can see what they're saying but yeah we're just gonna make some dinner yeah so that's what we decided to do we decided just you know go off with one more live together in the kitchen making the burgers and because we can't see if you guys enjoy these lives in the kitchen with us type a one in the chat I want to see all the ones I want to see oh, who enjoys idea. this because we can see the ones that's right we can see the ones <laughs> oh there's a couple we got yep. a couple coming in over here on YouTube nice so check it out um, what are we doing first we're gonna be making the burger patties. Mm. So we have a, the burger patties. Oh, like everyone loves it. <laughs> Love it, you guys. Thank you so much. We're gonna do more of these, seriously. Yeah. We really enjoy it. The kitchen this. ones are fun. Mm -hmm. It would definitely be cool to get some cool angles um, so you guys can see better. I mean, I should probably even tilt mine down a little bit so you can <laughs> kind of see a little bit more action here. Um, but yeah, definitely, this, these are fun in the kitchen. Because uh, we make food in the kitchen every day. So. Yeah, so might as well do it. Might you well guys. Show it. Might, well, might as well show you what we're doing in here. So yeah, we're going to make burger patties. We're going to make a sauce. And we are going to slice the vegetables and then build our burgers. Mm. So that's what we're doing tonight. Love it. And again, this recipe is in the group collaboration ebook that's part of the bundle. And that's the only place this recipe is as well as now. We're going to be on YouTube and Instagram. Yeah. But if you want to get that group collaboration book, this is your last chance. Last chance. Last chance. Click the link Almost in the chat. Almost over. We just have a few hours left. A few hours left. And then yeah. it's gone forever. Yeah. Forever. This one. This one's gone forever. This collection specifically is gone forever. Yeah. For this price. And this is the best time to get our mm -hmm. courses, both Lisa and I's courses. You can get both of them for $49 plus all the other stuff. And our courses are going to be on sale after the bundle for $77. Mine will soon be $97. So this is the absolute best time to grab these courses right now. Yeah. 
for one price of forty nine. And you can learn how to grow yes. microgreens right in your house. Look at these guys. Look at we grew these together on the grow along. We've got some peas and some sunflowers that we grew together. Look at how beautiful. Aren't they gorgeous? Mm. And they're gonna go on our burgers so tonight. Good. So yeah, you guys go check that out. Go we'll see all the goodies that you're getting, but we're gonna start these burgers. Yeah, so what we did was I actually made the burgers last night. These <laughs> yes. very burgers last night. So, because this this particular recipe, the burgers need to be in the dehydrator for a little bit. Yeah, like so, five hours yeah, or so or yeah, more. Even. Because it's a it's a, a low pretty much a low fat burger recipe. I mean, we do have some almonds and some pumpkin seeds in the mixture but, but split up over like yeah. four or five burgers yeah it's five five fat. six burgers so it's pretty low fat but i wanted to make the patties and dehydrate them so that way it's kind of like you know a cooking show right when they they, <laughs> they make up the the pasta or whatever or the lasagna and they put it in the oven and then they pull out the one that's done so we can actually like prepare these burgers and put them together so here we go here we go we're doing it all right we're doing it so we've got the food processor here just with the s blade right the uh you know this little guy and what we're going to do is we are going to we got a little psyllium in here too we, um we have the psyllium and the nutritional yeast as optional ingredients now we don't have them in the recipe but i just wanted to mention that if your burger patties are a little bit too wet mm -hmm. because some of the ingredients are low fat we're yeah. not using a ton of nuts you can add like a tablespoon of psyllium husk or maybe a tablespoon of nutritional yeast and it kind of helps to suck up a little it. bit and it binds it so yeah. it makes it a little better so we might use some so what we've got here is we've got our almonds and pumpkin seeds that have been soaking for pretty much half the day so they're activated right <laughs> they have basically been in a in a in water so they're kind of like being sprouted so to speak mm -hmm. which is going to help um the mixture as well as well as help us, you know, to be able to digest them even better. So yeah. always soak your nuts. Soak your nuts. <laughs> but even though they're soaked, they're gonna add a lot of water to the burger patties. So again, you might need to add a little bit of nutritional yeast or psyllium husk to bind it a little bit more. And you don't need a lot, like maybe a tablespoon of either or. So there we go. We've got the almonds and the pumpkin seeds in there. Then we've got here one cup of sprouted lentil seeds, which we did start these lentils um, two days ago. So today was the second day. So they're, they are basically just the tiniest little radical little tail has come out of these lentils. They're not like a oh, full <laughs> real long lentil yet. Mm. So really nice to have that. They're so good like that in that state without a really long tail added to raw chilies, raw masalas. Mm, so good. Raw burgers. Want to do both these? Yes. Our jalapenos are really small, so we're going to put two jalapenos in here. Two jalapenos. <laughs> yep. And then we're going to be going with about a, a half of a, a sweet onion. And then we've got here a golden beet. And it's not quite the whole. Oh, it is. There's oh. one more. <laughs> oh, so yeah, it's not quite the whole golden beet. Okay, so here we so go. So it's like one cup of golden beet. Basically a take. cup of golden beet. And these ones here, we might actually let me cut them up just a little bit more. Actually, here, you want to do that? Sure. And I'll put the carrots in. So we've got basically one large carrot or a couple small carrots, uh, one cup of carrots going in there. There's the beets. Nice. We've got our beets. And we are going to put, um, it's let's It's about see. half a cup of sun-dried tomatoes. So a half cup sun-dried tomatoes. And we have in here, we have one magic. teaspoon. I know it's magic, right? One teaspoon of onion powder, one teaspoon of cumin, and a little bit of black pepper. And, and then one, a red bell pepper. One bell pepper. Gotta get that sticker out. <laughs> Let's give it a quick little rinse here. Yes. All right. So the bell pepper, now we are ready to put these in there and pulse this up together real good and this will be our patty mixture okay now maybe what we'll do is we will toss just a spoonful of psyllium husk in these ones just to kind of help bind it up a little bit it's Let's not put a little nooch in there too okay. <laughs> it's not in the recipe but it definitely does help because there's a lot of wet uh, vegetables in here a lot of water rich vegetables 
So this is really going to help the bind. All right, here we, here we go. go. Here we go. Good. Yeah, it already smells good. Oh, I wish I could see what you guys are saying. It's too far away. It's too far. I can't see him. Too far away. But we are so happy for you to be in here. I'll answer YouTube questions after we're done the live. So if you stick around, I will answer. It's just a little bit too far for me to see. Oh, that smells so good. Doesn't that smell good? Mm. <laughs> so far away. <laughs> Those right. are looking good. Maybe one more quick blend. I like to shake it to kind of get everything to fall back into those blades as it's spinning. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's perfect. All right, so I'm going to take this over there. All right, we're going to switch spots. We'll switch spots up here. And Nate is going to form some patties. He's going to show you how to do that. We could actually put this up here so you can show people Very what cool. they look like. Very cool. Yes. All right, so there we go. Our burger mixture smells deep. It smells amazing. Seriously. Mm-hmm. All right. Hope you guys have a chance oh. to make this one. So Nate's going to show you how we form them. So I just basically take a big old handful, just like you would a regular patty, you know, and just kind of give it a little jiggle around. And actually, we should probably put these on. Oh, you want a solid sheet? Yeah, because they're they're so uh, they're so moist. There's a lot of moisture in these ones because of you know the beet and the carrot and the bell pepper and the onion. That I don't know. I don't know. Actually, you know what? They're probably fine. Yeah. Sorry, I had you it's get okay. that for no reason. <laughs> They're probably fine. Anyone who's asking, though, these are the Bright Kitchen um, silicone sheets, which, we? which we have linked in our list in our courses mm -hmm. of all of the tools that we have here in the kitchen, everything that we use to grow the, the microgreens. So there it is, a patty, right? And we're just going to set it on the dehydrator sheet. So beautifully. And while Nate makes the rest of the patties, we are going to blend the sauce. Mm. We've got a sauce going on mm. here. So we're going to start with one lemon, the juice of one lemon. Yeah, these lemons are really nice. <laughs> are they? Yeah. A lot the ones of juice? We got, yeah, they're really nice. You ever get those lemons? There's like not very much juice in there. Mostly limes. It limes are like definitely that. happens way more with the yeah. limes. One thing I really love is the Meyer lemons, and we haven't really seen too many Meyer lemons lately at the no. at the market. I've been missing those Meyers. Me too, I love those ones. So these are some pretty big burgers. And one thing that I like to do when we're doing burgers is, I, I mean, it's nice to make them earlier in the day and dehydrate them, but I don't know, I definitely like to have them the next day. I know, I love the burgers the next day, especially when we're going camping mm -hmm. or... And um, this, yeah. this is definitely something that we don't really make very often. Like this isn't a daily thing. Yeah. Like we might have burgers, once a month. like maybe we might maybe. have burgers once a month. It might be like once every five or six weeks or something. We don't really make burgers too often. But they are definitely on the menu. <laughs> yeah. Actually, I guess it's probably close to once a month. Once a month? Yeah, give or take. We start yeah. kind of getting a little burger craze. <laughs> so once we put the lemon juice in there, it's about two tablespoons, maybe three, depends on the lemon. Mm. We're going mm. to add half of a bell pepper. We're also going to add about a quarter cup of sweet onion. We've got two dates very nice so i'm just gonna pit these make sure you pit your dates because you can yeah <laughs> and honest, the sauce honestly i think you could even also add in a couple dates into the burger mixture and it'd be yeah. quite delicious i was a little surprised when i saw the recipe with no dates mm. i guess we're gonna have to try yeah a couple dates just to <laughs> add. i mean not like it's not like it's too sweet like one date does a lot yeah one date goes a long way We've got our little jalapeno that we'll add in there. 
one tablespoon of miso paste, a whole bunch of garlic. I've got three and a half cloves here. <laughs> and we have about a quarter cup of sun-dried tomatoes. Mm -hmm. And then the last two ingredients, we have a quarter cup of hemp mm, seeds. Very nice. Yes. Very nice. And for spices, we have half a teaspoon of smoked paprika and a quarter teaspoon of mustard powder. Ooh. Yes. Love it. This is gonna be a good sauce. Tasty sauce. <laughs> Definitely. A tasty burger Second. sauce. One thing I really like too is Lissa has this recipe in uh, what book is that recipe, babe? With it's your burger book, isn't it? With the uh, buffalo sauce. Mm -hmm. Oh, that buffalo sauce is so good. It's a, it's a cashew-based sauce, so of course it's going to be quite delicious. But oh my gosh, the way that she's got that recipe dialed in, it is so incredibly tasty. I was kind of wondering if we were going to have the buffalo sauce for these burgers, but she's got a, another sauce for this particular recipe which again is in the bundle the uh collaboration book and that is only available in the bundle you cannot get the collaboration book any other place and so it's an exclusive thing for the bundle so so cool yes exclusive to the bundle i'm going to add a little bit of water just a wee bit of water <laughs> just a little bit so I'm not sure how much it would be like maybe a half a cup, but always start slow with your water because you don't know how much you're going to need. I need some water too. Oh, you poor <laughs> thing. She's been talking <coughs> for like nice. two weeks nonstop every single day because even after her live, she's on helping, doing some of the back end stuff, helping people with problems that they may have with the bundle link or all kinds of little nuances and different issues that they may have. So. Yeah, she's had a little tickle in her throat, and I tell her, hey, you better have a glass of water with you right nearby because, man, it's, it's also really dry here in oh Vegas. Oh my gosh, it is so dry here. I've noticed that it I need so extra dry. water here in Vegas because it's so dry. The humidity is so low. There's like hardly any humidity here. I think the yeah. humidity level, well, in our place, it's like 30. Yeah, 30, yeah. 30% it's, humidity is like nothing. It's definitely low, so you gotta we, make sure that I drink enough water. Actually, what we'll do tonight, we, oh, yeah. we invested on a, a humidifier, mm -hmm. so we're gonna put that in our bedroom because, gosh, it is dry here. Yeah, it is dry. And we're having a windstorm. It looks like it's, yeah. it looks crazy outside right now. I'll have to show you guys after because it's, it's really windy and there's a lot of dust in the air, mm -hmm. so yeah, environmental environmental stuff right right <clears throat> so look at here we've got our patties all situated on the dehydrator sheet and i'm going to put these in there i'm going to set it and forget it for <laughs> about probably like a good four hours it's until we're going to have to basically finish these up tomorrow because these are a, a pretty wet patty in a way and they it's nice to flip them so about two to three hours and then flip it and in another two hours they're good to go. But what I like to do is I'll even like to put them in the fridge for a little bit. And when they're cold, they just, it adds like a little bit more stiffness to them as well for this particular recipe. But there we go. All right. We're going to pop these in the refrigerator. <laughs> and we no, are. Sorry, the dehydrator. The dehydrator. We are going to blend our sauce. <laughs> Yeah, mm. that's bomb. 
That's I hope you guys get to make this one. Ooh, it's got a nice kick. I like that kick. So this recipe is in the group collaboration ebook, part of the bundle, which is over in less than seven hours. Go to the link in the chat or in the description over on YouTube to download all of the recipes. So good. Yes. So good. So that's our sauce. That's I'm gonna put it into yeah, that's we it. can start chopping our Okay, let's do it. Our so burger ingredients. What we're gonna do for our burgers, what we like to do predominantly, like sometimes we'll use portobello mushroom for the bun, but we really enjoy iceberg lettuce. It's nice and crisp and light and watery. And of course, what's cool using a iceberg for the bun is it's it's really mellow in flavor, so you can pick up the flavors of the other ingredients in the in the burger. So one thing I like to do is you've got this, the bottom of your iceberg, right? And I just like to just pound it right on the cutting board, right on that, that little stem. So we're just gonna go like that, line it up, pound it, and then look it. This here just comes right out. The core just comes right out from that little snack. So now we've got our iceberg head with no core. It's been decored. It's been decorticated. <laughs> and what we'll do, from this point is we're just going to slice it right in half, okay? So check this out. We're going to slice it right in half, and there is our iceberg bun. Sometimes, you know what iceberg is, maybe the outer leaves might not be the most... Uh, Look at all the sauce ooh, we have. That's a good amount. We have enough for tomorrow. <laughs> so now what I like to do is I like to take and we'll cut it in, qu in a quarter. So we did it in half, now we're going to cut it in a quarter. Um, what do you want to put for, for a plate? Ooh, let's cut for plates. Okay. So now the, here is a one quarter of a head of iceberg. And now what I like to do is I like to just peel the inner part out nice and gently, as gently as I can. And this little segment is going to be the bun. And then we can use the inner part, chop it up and have the, like a little side salad. So this is one bun. And then let's get the other bun, huh? Check it out right here. We're gonna take this. Yeah, I'm gonna keep you out. Go like that. Perfect. All right. Good stuff. Trying to. Liz is trying to check a couple of the comments here. I know I can't see. So. Yeah. If you can't click the link in the chat, click the link in my bio. You can leave oh. uh, the live and yeah. then just go to my bio or Nate's bio and click the link in our bio. And you'll be able to go grab the bundle if you're not able to click it in the chat. Just click the link in our bios. There's also links in our stories. If you go check out our stories, oh, yes. you can see all, there's like links on almost every story because, oh, yes. yeah. So Thank you go. guys so much. You love our food. Special sauce, definitely special sauce. Moist. Yeah, moist. That, I don't like that word. I know. <laughs> it's such a weird word, isn't it? Uh, so there moist. we go. These are the buns. You know, I, you can cut your iceberg however you want, really, you know, um, you can use, you can just get crafty. I was just showing you, this is kind of how we do it. So basically I've got about three to four layers of lettuce as one particular bun. But yeah, definitely I've seen people um, cut it in different ways to where maybe the bun is like seven or eight layers thick. So we've got a square and we've got a round. A square and a round. A square and a round. Square and round. Beautiful. Excellent. That's Beautiful. Wonderful. That's very wonderful. It's very wonderful. So um, now, of course, the iceberg, like I said, the ones that we haven't used up, I'm just going to put in this processor for a second just to kind of hold them. And we <laughs> will have these saved for a salad, a little side salad. Excellent. Next up, I am going to thinly slice some red cabbage. Mm, I love it. And then look at these, you guys. We have some fresh pea microgreens that we started growing together at the very beginning of this bundle. Today's the 11th day, and look at how these are, have turned out. So beautiful, so delicious. We're going to harvest some of those for our burgers, as well as I cannot wait for these garlic chives. These garlic chives oh are going to be so gosh. delicious. Yeah, they're going to be so good. Nice. So we've got some purple shredded cabbage going on there. Yes. Here, what I'll do is I'll cut the tomato. Okay. Perfect. We're going to go with a nice big slice of tomato. We've got just a, a hot house 
tomato. It's not an heirloom. I really wish it was an heirloom. Oh, the heirloom ones are the best for the burgers. Mm. So I'm good. also going to add some sauce. So good. So we've got, as you can see, let's put it up here for everyone to look at. Mm. There we go. That works. Okay, so we've got that. We're going to put some sauce on. Some sauce on. Here, I'm going to yes. tilt mine down a little bit. All right. So maybe you guys can see a bit better. Here, ooh, tell, ooh, me, ooh. tell me when that looks good, babe. A little more. There we go. Okay. Look at that. Now they can see the heart in it. <laughs> it's awesome. Okay, there we go. Good. Yes. Now you can see it. We've got one there and we've got one here. I know it's tricky. We almost need like a separate cameraman so yeah. we can get some close ups, <laughs> zooming in close up. But right. so look at we've got our lettuce, our cabbage, some sauce. Mm -hmm. I've got the tomato cut. I'm going to cut some okay. purple onion here. You can't have a burger without purple onion. Yeah, we need purple onion. What, you can do that. Do you want to do the tomato? Um, I was going to, yeah, we can put the tomato on first. Whatever you want. Let's do, look at that Whatever beautiful, it, it's like the tomato almost looks like the patty. Sometimes we have <laughs> just tomato burgers. Yep, we have. Like, let's not even make a patty. Let's just do the sauce and put a big old, if we get those heirlooms, we'll just put like a half inch thick slice or three quarter inch slice of heirloom. So good. And then we've got a little avocado here. Here we go. Drum roll. Woo. Come on, hopefully it's a good one. Hopefully, oh, is it good? Oh, it's oh, good. Right. Right. We it's always a drum roll. <laughs> we won. It looks good, that that's looks a nice. nice one. That is a nice one. Sweet, um, and we have the patties. Yep, I'll grab the patties real quick here. Perfect. Boom, boom, boom. Just like that, we have a spoon. You got your sauce spoon. I got the sauce that. spoon. I'm just gonna slice a couple of these avocados so they can be on them. We got these patties. Perfect. All right, here we go. So, let's just pretend these are out of the dehydrator. <laughs> but here's the patties. Look at these beauties. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh my gosh, so good, so good. Okay, so how about... So we'll do... We're gonna do a double patty? <laughs> we could do a double. I'll grab the bigger ones. These ones are a little bit bigger. Okay. So here you go. Stick that on. Oh. Or maybe this one over here. Oh. oh! That one did, when I tried flipping it, it broke in the dehydrator. I was thinking that one probably is not gonna be able to not break during the whole process here. All right, and then we have our purple onion. Purple onion. Purple onion. And let's grab some of these delicious, beautiful, pea microgreens oh oh my gosh this right here so is gonna good. make it gourmet gotta put the avocado on first get the avocado on i didn't put as many onions where on. where do you want to put you want to put sauce in the other bun yes we do okay so we've got those i do might even i'm gonna i'm gonna maybe the avocado okay let me trim those down put sauce trim those down on just the a other bit. side of the bun Okay, what do you want to do with this? On top of the patty. Okay. All right, so we're going to do, each of us are going to get half of this small avocado. And I'm just going to kind of flatten it out on there. And of course, sometimes, I mean, really, there's, there's definitely an art form to putting your food together to where it looks beautiful. We don't always have our stuff look absolutely incredible. <laughs> Sometimes we're just hungry and we just do it to it. Yep. But we do try to get pictures. Lissa's really good, as you know, with her pictures. Oh my gosh. Love getting the pictures. So good. All right. So then all we have left is the microgreens. Microgreens. And let's we'll throw some chives oh, on there too. Oh, let's do the chives first. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah. Grab just a little bit of those. I Here. can't believe how long these are. Aren't they amazing? Yeah, get that yeah, one off. That one off. I know they've, they're past the point <laughs> of, of uh, harvesting. We need to harvest those like tonight and put them in a little container. Oh my gosh. Because they're going crazy. I'm actually going to have to grow another tray um, to finish the segment that goes in the course because these ones here are a little bit beyond where I'd like to have it. <laughs> So, and it's just been so busy and we've been just, you know, have, I wasn't able to get those together. I'm gonna put these right in the sauce. Nice. These peas, microgreens, right in the sauce. Woo! There they are. 
There just they like are. That. Oh my gosh. I'm so check, yeah, go ahead. Go are you? Okay. So check these out. I mean, my goodness, look at. Okay, ready? Oh, so delicious. So delicious. Yeah, these are gonna be fun. They're gonna be messy. Burgers are messy. These, these are just, you know, I don't know. Finger food stuff is kind of messy, but it's so fun to eat. It really is. I really is. love it. It really, really is. So, we can put these together. Mm -hmm. this, is, this is the best part. This is the best part. Putting it on top and of course, getting that picture. All right, I don't know. I, this is the one that's busted. It broke in half. Okay, let's do this one. That one might be the the more picture worthy <laughs> patty. I don't know, this one does look pretty good still. I think too. it'll still be good. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Let's see, where are we at? Let's line it up. Oh, look at that. Ooh. Let's line it up. Here we go. Beautiful. <laughs> oh, that's massive, right? Like that's massive. Oh, it's so good. Mm. What time is it? 524. So we made burgers, the two of us, basically less than 20 minutes and that is of course having the patties done the patties basically take these particular yeah. patties take about five hours of dehydration time yeah or longer it depends on how mm -hmm. thick you make them mm -hmm. mm, that looks all good. right ready? ready oh my gosh get over there oh. get over there oh Look at those. yes okay i'll come around come around she's gonna give me the close-up you gotta get the close up on these things. They're so good. Look at this, my friends. Yeah. I wanna go. Oh, that does look good. Yes. Mm -hmm. Do you want some? Mm -hmm. I want some. Is there any vegan sauce you put on it? Do you wanna show the mm. sauce? Yeah. So the sauce we just made up. Ooh, and do you want some? If you re watch this live, you'll have the exact recipe. Or if you get the ultimate raw vegan oh. bundle, which is available here for just a few more hours. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. This is in the holiday, not the holiday, but the potluck collaboration book. Mm. So you'll have this sauce recipe mm. as well as how many recipes are in the co collaboration book? I think there's 52. 52 recipes. So that means basically you'd have a recipe for an entire year if you ate one new recipe a week. Yep. 52 recipes in the collaboration book. This is one of them. Mm. I've got my nice wedge awesome. salad in the, the oh. collaboration book. and. I actually haven't been able to even tap in to see all of the recipes in there, so I wish I knew more by heart. I could tell you what's in them, mm. but gosh, it would be so good. So all right, are we, we ready? Go. Are we gonna have a bite? Yeah, sure, let's have a bite. All right, here we go, cheers. Okay, cheers. Love it. Mm. Oh my God. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh. That's good, that sauce is so oh, good. Oh, that sauce is so good. That sauce is really, mm. really good. Mm -hmm. Low fat, mm. delicious. Mm -hmm. Those microgreens, I get that. A little bit of the chive, onion, garlic chive. Oh, so good. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Mm. I hope you guys get to make these, seriously. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is the best part. This is the best part, eating it. Mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. so, oh, wow. That's what I love though. Because putting like this something together, if you prepare, say, the day before, maybe you're like, I'm doing burgers on Sunday. You make the burger patty on Saturday, then you've got the burgers in the in the fridge on, on Sunday. And it's cool because, I mean, we're stoked because we just made six more burger patties, which we're taking a hike tomorrow. <laughs> We will be bringing the burger patties with us tomorrow. We'll be putting some of these together on our tailgate. Mm -hmm. Where can you get something like this at a restaurant? Nowhere. Nowhere. You can't. Nowhere. But you, can't. you can make it yourself and it's so much fun and it doesn't take very much time. Of course, there was both of us in the kitchen yeah. rocking the scene together. So it would have taken twice as long if you're doing it by yourself. Mm -hmm. But, you know, yeah. It's but fun. still, it's worth it. And especially since you make more patties. They last the next day. You mm -hmm. just need to buy more lettuce, more toppings. Mm -hmm. Make sure you have your sauce mm -hmm. set aside. But somebody was asking if we have a side with our burgers. Mm -hmm. Normally we eat like one and a half and sometimes we'll have a salad. Mm -hmm. We might make a little microgreen salad. We'll eat the rest of this lettuce with maybe more of this sauce. And the rest of the tomato. The rest of the tomato. So a lot of times yeah. we don't just eat a burger. We will have a side salad. Yeah. But they're filling. They really are filling. Because, <laughs> you know, 
there's those nuts in there. So there's, what is there? There's a half a cup of almonds, soaked, and a half a cup of pumpkin seeds, soaked. So that's one cup of nuts divided between six burgers. That's right. So it's like three tablespoons of nuts, basically, per burger. Mm -hmm. I'm eating three tablespoons of nuts in this burger with all this other stuff. Which so is pretty good. It's pretty good. Mm -hmm. It's not like super high fat, but it's pretty uh, filling. Mm -hmm. Pretty filling. And of course, another thing too is kind of fun with raw food stuff is maybe you don't have almonds, but you have walnuts. Mm. You can use walnuts. That's true. Mm -hmm. You can play around. It's not like, you know, it's like you have <laughs> to stick with the one thing. Mm -hmm. Maybe you don't have purple onion. So, you know, maybe you don't like onion. <laughs> maybe you like extra tomato. Mm. Mm -hmm. Maybe you want shaved carrots or sauerkraut. Oh, man. We sauerkraut, would be, we can put it on that. We should. Okay, let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Nate made some sauerkraut, and if you guys want to learn how mm. to make sauerkraut, grab the bundle, less than seven hours. You can get this recipe, learn how to make sauerkraut and fermented vegetables, and grow yeah. your own microgreens. How to grow your own microgreens right on your windowsill if you want. So this bundle is really all-inclusive. There's it's pretty diverse. transformation programs. There's how to be a healthy raw vegan course. There's a course on relationships. Yoga. Yoga. There's, oh my gosh, I think Chris said there's 10 courses. Wow. There's 10 mini courses you're getting for $49 plus all the recipe books. And then of course all these lives. I've had several yeah. people be like, these lives are worth 49 bucks. Because everybody's sharing their story and like what mm -hmm. brought them to this raw vegan way. Mm -hmm. You know, what they've experienced, how they eat. How they've sustained some of people have been vegan, raw vegan for you know nearly 30 years that are in this bundle. 30 yeah, years. 30 years. So there's nothing to be scared of eating foods that Mother Nature provided for us. Exactly. Mm, so mm. good. The so last good. bite. Do you guys ever like just hold on to that last bite? You know what I mean? Like, oh my gosh. The Not last hard. bite, I'm like, oh. Because then it's sad. This sauce it's is over. so good. Sometimes. <laughs> what we do is we put sauce on each bite too. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> so good. So good. But yeah, this is it, mm -hmm. my friends. That was it. This is it for the bundle. The bundle is going to be over in less than seven hours, as mentioned. Two thousand three. Yep. Sorry. 2300? I was thinking of, I was thinking of uh, Jacob. He only says, for some reason, but he's born in 2003. I was saying, 2022, yep. raw vegan, raw, raw vegan, vegan bundle, bundle is coming to a close. This is it. We won't have, we're, we're gonna try to keep up the mm -hmm. lives. We'd like to go live on YouTube and with all of you YouTube friends. Uh, we wanna do that and we wanna go live on Instagram and hang out with you guys more often in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. I know it's the number one thing that you guys want to see more of, so. I know, and it's really like, I've told Lisa, I'm like, this is really where we belong. Yeah, like, we belong you know, in the kitchen. We're always throwing down <laughs> the kitchen. And, you know, that's like, when I was trying to figure out how to be a raw vegan, I wanted to see like, what people are making, what they're, what they're eating. Mm -hmm. And of course, you know, cutting open a mango and cutting open a melon is pretty self-explanatory. Yeah. But something like this is a little more involving. You're like, what are you doing? And I am a very visual learner. That's why I wanted to put together the video course. Mm. Look at that bird. On how to grow these microgreens and how to sprout and how to make fermented foods is so, if you're a visual learner, which I feel like most of us are visual learners, you can just watch the course, follow it along, and you're going to have these kinds of outcomes. I mean, look at this. It's so beautiful. Yeah. And look, we just used a tiny bit because there's so much <laughs> in the burger. That right there would be enough for, you know, we would use that in one salad. We would probably put the whole thing in a salad. 100% yeah. we would. This would be enough to last us one particular salad. So we do <laughs> grow quite a bit more microgreens than these little guys. Yeah. But I wanted to show you, we got this little kit at the farmer's market. Lissa's course, the Checkmate Your Cravings course is massive. Because there's a lot of people that get on to eating raw foods and they start to really like struggle with cravings and there's a lot that goes into that. That I mean, I've only tapped into that course just slightly and it is like what, like 100 pages? 80? 200 pages. 200 pages! Of downloadable content. And how many uh, guided meditations? There's five guided meditations and there's over 30 videos. Um, you watch the video and then you download the PDF 
There's like questions. There's a couple quizzes in the course. She um, put it together. She did fun aw. stuff. I want to also add to my course. That's what's going to be cool. <laughs> yeah, is like right now if you get this bundle, you're getting both of our courses for cheaper than they ever will be, plus all the other stuff. Mm -hmm. And we can continually add new content to these courses. So I wanted to have like a little quiz like, hey, what's the best, uh, you know, ratio, you know, of grams per seed of 10 by 20 tray if you're doing the broccoli. And if you watch the course, you're like, oh, I know that's 20 grams or whatever, right? Those kind of little things would be fun. Yeah. And so he's going to add quizzes and more videos and more PDFs and stuff. And gonna I'm going to cool. add more guided meditations. I've had some requests for some longer ones because there's five in there and all around like 10, 12, 15 minutes. But I had a request for 40 minute meditation. Long ones. So I'm going to make these and then I'm going to add them to my mini course. But you'll have to buy the mini course after. Yeah. If you get it now, you're going to get it at your lowest price. You're basically grandfathered in. Yeah, you get access to everything we post. Yeah, and we'll continually be adding to after these. This. You know, and that's really, really amazing because, I mean, if, say, if I was on the other end, I would be really stoked because it's like continual. Yeah. I mean, this is the only course that I have out right now. Same with you. Mm -hmm. And to be able to keep adding to them, eventually we're going to raise the price. Mm -hmm. Like, I've got a few Grover friends of mine that are like slapping me. Nate, this <laughs> should be no less than $250 because I've told them what's in it. And they're like, hands down, this should be $250. You're charging way too little for your course. And I'm like, I just want people to grow. Yeah. I want people to get into it. Mm -hmm. So, but I'm like, okay, maybe eventually I'll raise the price. So eventually, like imagine if you miss this bundle, then you're yeah. paying $100 for the course, maybe $150 for the course. This summer, it'll probably be around $150. Probably by the around Christmas time, I'll run a special, but I'm going to probably have it priced out around $250. So this is the time to get it because we're going to be adding more stuff to it yes so get many more things the link is in the chat it's also in the description on youtube but the bundle ends tonight april 11th 2022 Done. at midnight midnight and we're not extend there's not going to be there's not going to be any extensions zero extensions there's not going to be like you know any, any no uh, surprises no surprises any of that kind of stuff so it is the only time yeah 49 bucks and plus you get to also like help support all the all right, other yeah, creators. Yeah. There's a lot of really like amazing, talented creators that have put time into their products and you know. Gosh. Oh, give them likes and shares. Yeah. And you'll learn about these new people too so once you buy the cool bundle. Things. You'll see all the new people that you can follow and get inspired by. So it's yep. it's wonderful. And thank you guys so yeah. much for thank being with us through this week and hanging out in the lives and commenting yes, and it's been a fun buying the bundle even if you haven't bought the bundle thank you for being here and enjoying everything it's, it's we love been you. fun but mm -hmm. i tell you what we need a prank we're tired <laughs> yeah like we don't necessarily roll like this where there's you know four or five lives a day i've been talking yeah like four kitchen. to five to six to we seven love hours it we have so much fun we get a lot of energy from you guys interacting and different questions and stuff but, but we need flow balance woo, i'm we tired balance. <laughs> this has been this has been like a really jam-packed week of 11 days non-stop from basically the time we wake up until the time we go to bed and i've even had instagram posts that have been posting <laughs> with, without with captions. no captions and <laughs> oh my i gosh. know it's wild but hey all of you out there as well that are wanting to tap in eat more raw foods maybe Maybe you're inspired enough to put your little flair together and put some recipes together and start sharing your recipes. Create a book, right? Create a book. Become one of the creators of some of this amazing, basically these amazing, different amazing foods or different Love spin on things because we all have a different view, a different spin that we put on things and we can help each other make the connection to understand, which is really interesting, that Mother Nature designed it perfectly. We don't need to stray from Mother Nature. We can get all the nutrients that we possibly could ever want and desire. All the calcium, all the protein, all the vitamins, all the minerals, all these things from the food that Mother Nature designed for us. And we can put it together in a way that's fun and delicious and exciting and it tastes really good and it's satiating, it feels good. And if you're eating predominantly raw, 
you're going to feel amazing and you're going to basically be, you're going to be helping yourself in so many ways. Mm -hmm. Since I have eaten raw foods for a little over five years now, since eating raw foods, it's changed every aspect of my life. It really has. It's so incredible. And it's just so funny. Like, listen, I kind of trip out sometimes like, wow, all we do is share what we eat with the world. And we're able to just do that. Just share what we eat with, with the world. And we have, we're provided for. So for that, thank you, all of you who have purchased stuff from us in the past. Yeah. All of that helps us so much. That's we're able to continue to create this content. Mm -hmm. We're able to live this life. Not everybody can, not everybody wants to, right? Some people work their, their job, their nine to five job. They love what they do. I work another job. I'm a, I'm a, you know, doing, you know, basically a private contracting, even some consulting on the side, but predominantly it's amazing. All we do is share what we eat with the world and look at this. We spend hours and I spend hours in Lisa years. works so, she's a workaholic, 100%. I married a workaholic. She is like, I have to like smack the phone out of her hand sometimes and like, hey, Put the phone away. I'm like, I'm like, but this person right? Or she has wants a to, Or she wants to video a little clip to show you how amazing our walk is, which is so beautiful, right? It's so amazing. This time that we live in is so amazing, and we all have stuff to share. So hopefully this time, this week being together, has inspired at least a couple of you to eat more raw foods and even become a raw foodie content creator. Yeah. We need more of you. People. We need more of you to help so we can understand there's like amazing power in plant foods there really and is. share the message that hey look at like we can live and survive and actually even thrive off of these plant foods mm -hmm. create a course help people like we all help one another it's an amazing time to be alive especially with these devices that we can share content like this share different aspects of our mindset what has shifted it's beautiful. Oh, you're awesome. Look, Look at that this. burger. Yeah, we're going to need to take a picture of that one. Okay, I won't mess gorgeous. with it. I'm we're not going to mess with it. I was like getting ready to take a bite. Like, right. But Instagram eats first. Instagram eats first. Got to make Got to make that. <laughs> awesome. So, you guys, thank you very much. Um, I'm on Instagram here saying goodbye for the bundle. Please go grab the bundle. We've got now six hours and some left to get here. it. Yep. Six hours left. Six hours. Six hours so, left, less than six hours left, less than six hours left to get it. I've got the link right down here um, on my Instagram, YouTube, where does YouTube go? YouTube is in the description. Okay, in the description. Or just click a link in our bio Click on the Instagram. link in our Instagram bio. Definitely don't, don't miss it because for every content creator who's in here, like I'm Karen Ramsey, 28 yeah. year raw vegan. She's got her book on menopause in here, she's like, I would have paid a thousand dollars for <laughs> this kind of stuff back when I first started. Forty nine dollars. Yeah, like Good that's price. so incredible, <laughs> and that's what's so cool about putting a bundle together is. So you can get a good deal. And really the whole concept is not necessarily for us to make oodles of money, but it's like to get the message out yeah. and to get this information out to you because it's powerful stuff, man. And yes, growing your greens mm. is, oh, growing your greens as in um, John Kohler. John Kohler, he is not in the bundle, but there John, is a course. We are really trying to get <laughs> John Kohler in. involved, maybe for next year. We're not going to, there's probably not going to be another bundle this year. This yeah, is, this is the last one for the year. Like, you know, as far as the raw vegan bundle. Yeah. Oh, they're asking. Yes. Nate's course is in the bundle. You can yeah. learn how to grow this. Yes. Learn how to grow some of your own greens. This is another really empowering aspect. Learning how to grow some of your own food. And if you have, I've, I've created a series on my Instagram of the grow along so you can watch how we grew these very, these very uh, uh, microgreens, the peas, the sunflowers, we did some broccoli, we did them all together. And we did it in some recycled containers like little tomato container. Uh, that's going to be another piece that I'm going to add into the course. I want to have like eight different ways to grow them <laughs> in recycled containers to show you like don't be scared, get on it. This is super empowering like hey we know the world has turned, we've got some really funky stuff going on in a lot of ways out there mm -hmm. 
food shortages, there's all kinds of fear tactics and scares. Let's empower ourselves a little bit. Let's take some of that power back by growing some of our own food, incorporating like this is this is currency. Yeah. This is really currency. This is what we don't necessarily want money. We want what money's going to buy and that's why we started growing this kind of stuff is because we can't buy this kind of stuff for the as cheap as we could grow it. It's really kind of spendy, and it, you know, it's understandable. <laughs> yeah. It's understandable. Uh, but everyone's yeah. grateful for us. They're so grateful. We are grateful for you. We're grateful for all of you. We're grateful Every single for one of you, you so much. And yes, yeah. eating this way. Oh. oh, Nate's getting a phone call. <laughs> oh, it's spam. I see it. So, Potent potential spam. It said that was a spam call. Someone asked if this diet helps with type 2 diabetes. Ooh. Low fat, plant based, whole food plant based, high raw or all raw, yes, does help because it yeah. helps to make your insulin more sensitive. It's the low fat. The low um, fat. Definitely, yes. Sprouting, he teaches you how to sprout low as well. Fat. Yeah, show them the sprouts right there on the table. Sprouts, we've got sprouts. Look at these sprouts. I'm right gonna here. grab my phone over here too to see see who's still in here. We got sprouts, and you get to learn how to do this in Nate's what course is up? as well. Check these out. Yeah, for <laughs> all of YouTube. you. YouTube. Oh my gosh. This is the best sprouting Woo. lid. You see that sprouting hey, lid? People. That's just hey, a mesh people. piece of mesh from a garlic bag with Woo. the ring on it. Behind this, the scenes. This is the best lid. You don't have to buy lid. a special You gotta lid. show YouTube that. This is the best lid. Yeah, we gotta get YouTube in YouTube on it. YouTube in it. See um, that I'm lid? gonna sign off on my okay. Instagram here because we got so much going on. We're got, we got we got way too much going so on. So much. We got way too much. I'm gonna scroll back see who else is in here. We only got four people in, in here. Love that one. burger. Enzyme, I'm not sure if you're here. We love you, bro. We love all your stuff. You guys are awesome. Thanks, Rebecca. I love you. Thank you, thank you. All right, all guys, you. hello. It's been a lot of fun. Look at this behind the scenes action going it's on. It's been here. a lot Woo. of fun. And um, <laughs> yeah, we're excited to take a break. That's for dang sure. Mm -hmm. I'm excited to go get out in the desert and take a nice big old long hike. We can't do it tonight. Oh, because I want to show you. Look at this. I'm not sure who's Oh, yeah, here. look at that outside. This, this blue I'm going to answer nowhere. some stuff here in the questions. Look at that. So we've got one, nuts and seeds are essential. Um, people really need to get educated. It's not like sitting down and eating a can of those roasted salty nuts. Yeah, exactly. Nuts and seeds are essential. <laughs> they actually form the cell wall of our cells. So every time you make new cells, you need fats to do so. The thing is we're eating way too many omega-6s and not enough omega-3s. So we need to focus on omega-3s. Chia, flax, hemp are the top ones. And then just lower your sixes down a little bit. Um, and fats are totally, totally fine. I agree with you totally. What brand nutritional yeast do you use? We actually use a, a nutritional yeast. We get bulk. Um, Bragg is, Bragg's is a good one. Uh, how can you make burgers during the week? How long do they need to be dehydrated for? These burgers take about five hours, so you could make them in the morning and then just dehydrate them. You could dehydrate them for eight hours as well, and they would just be a little bit more firm. So you could do that, and you could make them Sunday night, and you could have burgers throughout the week if you wanted to. Um, we like to freeze, or not freeze them, um, sorry, vacuum seal them in a vacuum seal bag to keep them fresher longer if you are going to be doing them for a couple extra days. So you could do that. I like your lens flares. <laughs> like you're in the Star Trek. Yes, Star Trek. <laughs> Speaking of Star Trek, uh, I think it's just the... Um, it's the reflection because my camera needs to be cleaned. <laughs> so it's nothing special, but yeah, I love it too. Lens flares all the way, Star Trek vibes. We're going to be watching Picard tonight as our chill. <laughs> we, have, we have a couple episodes to catch up on. Um, five hours, yes, to dehydrate. Um, it's bad in northern Nevada too. Lots of wind and hail storms. Yeah, it's nice pretty bad. Tomorrow, so There's a lot of wind. It's pretty bad. Friends. Uh, the year just gone. <laughs> when did that happen? That happened about a month ago. He, it was just hard to eat. <laughs> um, let's see. Let's see. That's good. Looks really delicious. That's good. 
Yeah, um, Cassandra, wish I were alternative Cassandra, for the you nuts so much and for all seeds. Your love and support and coming and hanging you can out you can try different things. Try different things really in you. your burgers. Yeah, feel free to reach I don't out. know. Yeah, like the thing is, nuts and seeds are right. okay to have and, in small uh, amounts, and I know some people here. don't believe that, but that's why we do it. So I'm gonna sign off from YouTube just because we're talking and it's fun. It's fun, but we need to eat our burger and hang out and just chill. And I'm sure you guys need to, too. Thank you so much for joining um, me for all the lives and Nate and everyone else, all the creators in the bundle. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for purchasing the bundle. Thank you for hanging out in the lives and all that stuff. If you want to grab the bundle, there's around six hours left. So click the link in the description. It ends April 11th, 2022 at... 11.59 p.m. PST, so six hours from this video. Love you guys so much. Thank you again, and I'm going to sign off.